Hello, today I'm going to talk about a very serious topic. This is mainly directed towards men who are under emotionally abusive relationships. But if you are not, I still highly recommend you watch this video due to its educational value and the fact that this can still apply the other way around too. In this part, I will be giving the basic signs of an emotionally abusive relationship. So let's begin. Are you in a relationship which you don't feel any happiness left in you? Do you feel hurt every day? Has your physical and emotional condition only gone towards the worst? Does your partner resemble nothing to the woman you once fell in love with so much? Frustrated with the hope that one day she will come back, but failing to happen. If only these small symptoms apply to you, then you are at high risk of being in an emotionally abusive relationship. 40% of abusive relationship reports are made from men, but many cases of abuse have not been recorded and still remain hidden. If they were reported, it could have been up to 50%. The possibility of a man becoming a victim in a relationship is just as easy as a woman is to. Let me explain some more symptoms to you. Do you have the feeling of walking on eggshells to keep her from getting angry and you are afraid of her temper? Do you stop seeing friends or family or even give up activities that you used to enjoy just because she doesn't like them? Are you afraid to tell her your worries and feelings about the relationship? Are you often compliant because you are afraid to hurt her feelings? And have the urge to rescue her whenever she is troubled? Stop expressing opinions if she doesn't agree with them, while staying because you are afraid she will kill herself or give up in life if you leave. Is she limiting your freedom until it doesn't exist? Believe the critical things she says to make you feel bad about yourself? Believe that there's something wrong with you if you do not enjoy the sexual things she makes you do? Have you been kicked, sharp, had things thrown at you, or even had your injuries on purposely attacked whenever she was angry or jealous? Forcing you to accept ideas and behavior that oppose your own? Asking you to do unpleasant and humiliating actions? Believe that her jealousy is a sign of love? using you for personal advantage feel like you cannot live without her feel like you're the only one who can help her and that you should try to reform her there are also physical and mental symptoms of emotional abuse lack of energy and motivation losing the ability to laugh weight changes depending on eating habits due to depression dark circles caused by stress wrinkles and fine lines Puffy eyes caused by crying. Difficulty of concentration and making decisions. Hair loss if there is a sleep or diet related issue. Being a prisoner of your thoughts and fears. Other popular phrases and behavioural patterns are Telling you things like, you made me mad, you provoked me, you made me do it. I only have your best interest at heart. For a smart person, you sure do stupid things. You'd be a lot nicer if you weren't such a bastard. This hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm only doing this for your own good. I'll treat you better if you just tried harder. I can't live without you. You're bad. You're worthless. You're ugly. No one will ever love you but me. Your parents or friends will never understand what we have. You're going to be the death of me. Only true friends can be like this. Does your partner undermine your self-esteem and deliver you mixed messages? It's like pushing you down a cliff and running down to catch you. Your partner can humiliate you by ignoring you. Your partner tells that she loves you or that you are special but she needs an open relationship. Through intellectual and manipulative mind games, abusers tend to play the victim or take the offense very quickly. They invariably put the blame on either the world or others about their luck or situation. They accuse their partners of not understanding them or their needs, creating a sense of lack of sensitivity on your part. Abusers are extremely possessive and jealous. They need to control other people's lives but never show it. They will pretend that what you do with your life is your business. Abusers may be described as having a dual personality. Either they are charming or exceptionally cruel. A major characteristic of abusers is the capacity to deceive others. They can be cool, calm, charming, convincing. 
a true calm person. Most of the time they also deceive themselves. They are unable or choose not to see reality as it is. Emotional abusers do not acknowledge the harm they cause. Some people abuse others emotionally because that's what they've learned. They were victims of emotional abuse and neglect themselves. But the worst problem about emotional abuse is the fact that many people let others abuse them. Till now you can see how vast and damaging emotional abuse can be. Knowing the basic signs of emotional abuse can help you either diagnose if you are in an abusive relationship or to help you detect the signs of an abuser in order to avoid becoming a victim. Now in order to avoid or keep an eye out for an abuser when you are looking for a partner or if you're in a new relationship, keep some of these characteristics of an emotional abuser in mind. They are attractive people, rarely to apologize but make you apologize for things that you had no control over. Makes you feel like a bad person, filling you with guilt. Chronic liars, manipulative and flirtatious. Even when they are already in a relationship, they always brag about their previous relationships and about how bad they used to treat them. Using excuses such as I didn't care about them, I didn't love them, or I wasn't in love with them but I am with you. Angry, easily frustrated, mostly raised in a divorced family or damaged environment. Had a life crisis in an early age. Constantly tests your nerves. Never ever blame themselves. Controlling. They don't respect your feelings, point of view or what you do. Don't respect your boundaries. Always making excuses for their acts. Don't respect others, especially those who they abuse. Extremely negative. Almost never provide your needs. Most of them are drinkers, smokers and drug addicts. They make you think you need them. An abuse will make you feel weak, desperate, sad, controlled, lonely, powerless, desire free, damaged. Now that I've walked you through the basic signs of emotional abuse, I think it's about time we move to part two. Click on the video on the side to watch part 2 or check the links on the underbar below for more details. Thank you for watching.